election identification. They're bursting in air anymore, but Fort McHenry is an explosion of color these days. So for Winfrey, an instant eye, take us to a picture show with a distinctive Charm City flair. It's the home of the Star Spangled Banner, and thousands of tourists leave home every year to come and see those broad stripes and bright stars right here at Fort McHenry. Now there is even more to see here. 13 watercolor scenes of Baltimore, including Baltimore in 1729, Druid Hill in 1873, and Baltimore in 1990. We came to see the historical, the historical site, and I think that these help enhance it. It gives the artist view of uh, what the city was like many, many years ago and, and now. It is a historical, futuristic perspective done by artist Bob Hieronymus. If you've ever passed Fort and Lawrence Streets, you no doubt notice the big mural on the wall there. It also is done by Bob Hieronymus and shows Baltimore past and present. I've lived in Baltimore all my life, and Baltimore, to me, was a very strange and exotic place when I was growing up. All the way from Druid Hill Park, we used to get lost in the bushes to the Inner Harbor, where we used to chase the rats around, which you don't, <laughs> don't do. Not anymore. Not anymore. It's just gorgeous down there. And I've always loved the city a great deal, and I've wanted to know its past, oh, especially since, since the last 15 or 20 years, and kind of preserve that to give to Baltimore's present and future. That's why I basically did this series. I'll be doing other series of other cities, but Baltimore's the first city I wanted to do. This exciting collection of artwork by Bob Hieronymus has, to his benefit, been sold to a private collector. So if you'd like to see it for yourself, you'll have to do so from now until October 21st, right here at Fort McHenry. I'm Oprah Winfrey, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. When we continue, what are Charm City's most successful businesses? And as Eyewitness News...